Hello and welcome to this quick tip. My name is Ben Morgan and in this quick tutorial I'm going to teach you a really, really useful add-on to Blender. Well, not an add-on, but a a constraint is what it actually is in Blender called the Track 2 constraint, which is u very, very useful when you want something pointing to something and you can easily position it and always have it pointing to that thing. So whether that's a light that's always pointing at a center object, um, maybe a light's pointing to a camera, maybe the camera should be tracking to something. Um, this is a very, very useful uh, thing that you can do in Blender. So, say I have this cube, and I add in a plane, and I wanted to render this scene <clears throat> with F12. Right now, it's looking kind of bad, obviously. This is the default everything. But, say I wanted to light it better. Say I wanted to use a sun. A sun, sure, I could rotate it so that it's pointing at the cube. But what if I always, what if I wanted to add more suns? Okay, what if I duplicated it and I wanted to move it and then I'm, you know, rotating it and I gotta press R all these times and it's just really annoying. What would I do? Well, that's where the track two constraint comes in, comes in handy. And it's a really, really useful tool that I hope uh, you guys will find handy. So what we need is an object for the thing to track to. So yes, we could have it track to this object, but that doesn't give us a lot of control as to where it goes, because if we want to move um, the lighting around, we'd have to move the object. So what we're going to do is add in what's called an empty. So shift A, add empty plane axis. And basically this adds, a pl like, it's called an empty. It's not seen by the camera, but the viewer can see it. And, um, the user can basically designate this empty. It's an object that this lamp will be able to point to. So with the sun lamp selected, shift, right click the empty and do control to track to constraint. So now the sun is always pointing at this empty. Even if we move the empty around, it will move the sun's direction. So this is very, very useful because when we duplicate the sun with shift D and we move the new one around, the new one is still pointing at the object. And if we move this, they both move. So this is very, very useful if you want to establish a three-point lighting setup or something of that sort. But say, as with three-point lighting, you wanted to have a, a light pointing directly at the camera because that would give you what's called the rim light effect. To do that, you wouldn't want it tracking to this, per se. You'd want the sun tracking to the camera. You want it pointing directly at it. So with that sun selected, which is going to be our fill light, our rim light, press Alt-T, and that will clear the current track on it. Then shift right click the camera and do Control-T, track constraint. So now it's pointing directly at our camera, and if we move it like that, we will have it be a rim light. Some, another cool thing that this allows you to do is move your sun on its normal axis. And the normal axis is the direction that it's pointing. So say I wanted this to be um, closer to my, to my cube, I press G, Z, Z. Double tap Z and you'll be able to move it, zoom it in and out of your cube. And same thing with this. All right, you can do that. So that's really, really neat. Um, and it allows you to you know, easily set up things like that. So now if we would, we would render, obviously it doesn't look perfect. It really doesn't look good at all. But this is how you could um, set up a basic lighting scene um, for something of that sort. So yeah, uh, this was a quick tutorial, a quick tip that I wanted to share with you guys because it's very, very useful. and. Um, hope you learned something from it. Thank you.